All right, I love NECA. And I really used to love NECA when they do cool lines like this Nightmare for Christmas. The reason why I like this line so much is because pretty much every single one of these is, is, is an original sculpt, a great paint job. It's like every toy is like a one-off. And when you look at this shelf here, it like really stands out in the toy room. Like it's, it's such a focus point just because every character is so different. Now I do love Predator, but the Predator line is it's going a little flat. It's like how many times can you repaint these things and, and, and feel good about selling them to us again because yes, I'm going to keep buying them because I love your repainted toys. But I would just think at some point your conscience would get the best of you and you'd actually start giving us new toys. So you got this Jungle Hunter Unmasked Predator. He's basically a repaint off of this Predator and probably a few other Predators that you already have. But he looks cool, so I picked him up. And then you have the Must Buy Jungle Demon Predator. And this guy is just a repaint from this guy, which is a repaint from this guy, which is a repaint from like six other ones on the shelf. But hey, they look cool. When you see these on Toys and you see them in Toys R Us, they're definitely hard to pass up. And then you got the con exclusive Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, it's got the little like arm wrestling hand from the black guy in here, like they're like they're gonna arm wrestle, which would be cool if you would have got the other guy, but that didn't happen. But we get another Arnold, and normally the human characters to me lie really flat in my collection, unless it's for Predator or Alien. Because there's so many Predators in the Predator collection. When you get a human character, it's actually cool and it kind of stands out. So, I mean, these things have been sitting on the ground for a while. So I'm obviously not that excited to get to them. Even though they are pretty cool. Let's check them out. Alright, so you got this Arnold standing almost seven inches tall, and then both these predators, well they're pretty much exactly the same predator, but painted different, are right just a little bit under eight inches tall. Alright, first off we're gonna check out this Arnold. It does come with a couple of little accessories. It comes with this map, it unrolls, you roll it up nice and tight, he can actually hold it in his hand. That's kind of a cool touch. He also has this folder. The folder doesn't open. So it's kind of like pointless and he's either gonna doesn't really even have a hand to hold it. So I, I'm not real sure why they even put that in the package. Then you got this. I love the head on this thing. Like it actually looks like Arnold. I think they did a really good job. The plastic is kind of like that weird transparent shiny plastic. So if they could have painted that, I think that would have actually looked quite a lot better. Um, Overall looks of this figure, I'm really happy with it. Like he's real basic. He's Arnold in a red shirt and military khakis. So I mean, but that's what he's supposed to look like, and I'm pretty happy with it. The gun is kind of weird. It's got a trigger and a handle here. Then it also has a trigger here, but then no handle. So I guess if he squeezes this trigger, which is the grenade launcher, he's actually supposed to hold onto the clip, which makes no sense to me. I highly doubt this is what the gun looked like in the movie because there should be some kind of handle or something unless you just stick your finger in there and shoot a grenade out of it. But that doesn't sound very likely. But they did give a shit a little bit because they put a little love on the paint for the buckle and a little brush here on the gun. So I definitely am digging that. The articulation on this is really clean. It doesn't work really well, which doesn't bother me at all. Because if you look at this figure, he has absolutely zero pins. There's no... There's no pin at the elbow, there's no pin at the knee, and there's no ankle pin. As far as it moving, it doesn't move that good. The head is on a ball, you don't get much out of that. The arm pops off real easy like that. Like it's, It barely sticks in there, so you're not getting a lot out of that. Um, single elbow, which it, it swivels here, which I loved, but it looks super clean and the arm keeps popping off. So they definitely could have Put an arm on it that actually stays on it. The hand articulation is the same you've been getting forever. 
He does have um, a little bit of an ab crunch. The shirt is a nice, soft, pliable rubber, so that works out pretty well. He also turns at the waist. These thighs, this thigh joint is something that everybody should should take. Now, look at this. You've got like the swivel right here up top, so you don't have to do the cut in the thigh. You kind of accomplish that right there. I think that works a lot better and definitely looks a lot better. And then you still get plenty of movement in it. The single knee, this is about as good as a single knee could possibly be. Like, look at how clean that is, how they had the pants come down. He turns, it goes almost to a 90. There's no pin. I'm really digging that. And it also turns here at the knee. So that's like, that's articulation perfection for me. It looks clean. It works good. And the ankle is just as good. It swivels. It rocks. It, I mean, it's everything kind of all in one. There's no pin. And they really killed it on that. So... This is like, like they're kind of spoiling us with um, no pins out of articulation. So now whenever I get a toy with pins, it's kind of like, eh, because I know that they can do it without. They just don't feel like doing it. Then you just got this uh, jungle demon predator. Um, he's probably like the same exact thing as six other predators that you have in your collection. But for some reason, I really, really wanted this. I missed out on him online. I missed out on him at Toys R Us. I, my buddy found one on the drive uh, to California, picked it up, so I'm really happy to have this in my collection, even though he's just a crappy repaint, but it's a crappy repaint that I really wanted to put on that shelf. The articulation on this, I mean, it's the same as every other one, so we'll just go real quick. The head is on a ball, shoulders are on a ball. That actually works pretty good. Single elbow, but it has a pin in it for some reason. Like, I don't know, I guess they don't feel like updating that, but I wish that they would. And then it turns here at the gauntlet, that's cool. The wrist turns, it's kind of like on a ball. It has this ab crunch, doesn't move much, but it looks good. It does turn at the waist, that also looks pretty good. The thigh joint, or kind of like on a ball, um, it works pretty much just as good as the Arnold, kind of like the same concept there. The knee joint's clean, but then you have a double pin here. It's a double knee. I already know that you guys know how to make it without a pin, so it would be nice if you'd step up your game. If you're just going to give us repainted toys all the time, at least figure out a way to get rid of this pin. That would definitely make it like a, I would be like, oh, okay, that's it's an improvement. And I wouldn't feel bad buying the same figure over and over. The ankles are kind of weird. They do turn. They wiggle a little bit. I'm not real sure what you want to call it. Okay, that. so if this one looks really similar to the one right behind it, that's because they're basically the same exact toy. Obviously, one is masked and unmasked. This one has a fisted hand. This one has an open hand. And then this one also comes with an interchangeable hand. But if you use this hand, then you can't hold this amazing looking skull with the spine attached to it. So a side-by-side -side comparison, you can see they're exactly the same. Same necklaces, same hair, same gauntlets, everything. Same little cock guard. Um, it's basically the same toy, but on these toys, like, a lot of them are just repaints. But they kind of, I mean, they're just predators. So, I mean, I, I kind of I, I buy into the whole repainted thing. It, it'd be nice if you could just mix up something a little different, like... Like the, the little loincloth thing, just a little different. Like you've used that thing several times in the past. The, the armor pads, like, I mean, I get it. It's repaint. I'm trying to pick and choose on this line. Like I don't get every one anymore. I used to only because these things basically look exactly like one that I already have on the shelf. This one I just thought was too good to pass up. So I went ahead and picked him up, even though he's very similar to several that I already have. Articulation, he's exactly the same as this one. He's exactly the same as about 6, 10, 12 other ones that you already have on your shelf. So here he is. He's a really good toy. I don't know how many of you guys collect of these, but I guess you can always use one more predator. Now for the favorite part of the video is when I get to show you my collection. Especially this predator collection. Because this thing, I know a lot of them are just repaints. But when you look at this as like a set, Man, I just really, really enjoy this collection. And that dog, I really wish I would have got two of those. So it kind of wraps all the way around the shelf. I've probably showed you this thing at least 10, 20 times. But I'm going to continue to show you it as it grows. 
because I love this collection so much. All right, there it is, Predator Collection. Like always, thanks for watching.